Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for your continued support. Sometimes we Kenyans, we bury our heads in the sand and we tend to behave ignorantly like uncivilized individuals. I like you, my case. Relax. The problem that we are having in Kenya is behaving as if we have never read about politics. We behave as if we have never understood how politicians work. Every single political season, we forget, I don't know, ni uchawigani wanasiasa wa Kenya wako now. Kenyans, we forget too fast. Like in 2027, people will forget what Ruto did in five years. People will forget on how Ruto discriminated the judiciary. People will forget on how Ruto administration abducted young people. And they will vote him win. Sometimes we behave like, uh, I don't know which animal is that. Yani. Anyway, who am I saying this, Kakasungura? There are two facts about politicians, or one fact, in fact. There's one fact about politicians. Politicians will always get divided on which that is meant to rescue the voters. They get divided. It, it, it's a culture in politicians. It's, it, it's something that is rooted in politicians. If there is a bill in parliament that seeks to empower the ordinary citizen, a number of them, they get divided and that bill will never see the day. I think you've ever seen that before. Any bill that is meant to make the ordinary citizen wiser or any bill that seeks to defend a voter, members of parliament, others cannot even attend sessions in parliament. An example is the finance bill 2024. Some of them disappeared. Because they never wanted to vote yes nor no. They just vanished. Now. Huh. The judiciary. Or the court. Ruled that the CDF is unconstitutional. The constituency development fund. We all know that members of parliament are surviving under the masses of city. This is where they loot from. This is where they eat from. If members of parliament are denied the CDF, Nja Itawamariza. This is what is meant to help them as it may help the citizens. So, one fact is, members of parliament will always get divided on which that is meant to help the electorate, but get united on that which is meant to help them as politicians. That's a fact you can never erase. When the courts declared CDF unconstitutional, members of parliament, all of them in the Republic of Kenya are speaking one language. What? The? During the finance bill, they were speaking in different languages. But when it comes to CDF, they are speaking one language. A member of parliament who attends a funeral in Vihiga 
and another one attending a funeral in Kirinyaga, they are speaking the same language, defending the CDF and calling courts rogue system. So sad. Now, because the courts declared CDF unconstitutional, the members of parliament are saying that the judiciary is a rogue system. Ha! Huh. So, I want to ask Emilio Diambo, what is the difference between you and William Ruto who doesn't respect the court orders? You members of parliament, whether from the Kenya Kwanza ruling, ruling coalition and from Azimio, you have stood jointly, especially Milio Dembo, to accuse the courts and brand them a rock system. I have to ask you, madam, what is the difference between you and William Ruto? Ruto never respects the courts. So members of parliament who have been criticizing William Ruto of not respecting the courts have also joined the, 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 the band. The courts have pronounced themselves on the CDF. Members of parliament have refused to honor that decision. And instead, they are now demolishing and hitting the judiciary Right, left, and center. This is the system we are having in the Republic of Kenya. The, the people celebrate when things are right on their side. Politicians. When all is well on their side, they say it's God. I think you remember Ruto. Wakati Ruto kila kitu kinamwendea vizuri, anasema ni maombi. Lakini vitu zikianza kuenda morama, anasema ni uchawi, wanga, chini nini, mambo mengi. Watu wajinga ni sisi wa Kenya. We Kenyans. Sisi ni wajinga. As politicians unite to defend which that benefits them. Why can't we the citizen of the Republic of Kenya unite to defend that which is going to help us. Tushikana mikono kama wa Kenya. We speak the same language. Stop defending these idiots. I'm sorry to use that term. Hawa wabunge hawa. Hawa. Kile kina waguza, they will unite. Hawa atajua huyu ni wa ODM. Hawa atajua huyu ni wa Jubili. Hawa atajua huyu ni wa UDA. Lakini ikifika kile ambacho ni chao. They become partless. They become leaderless. Lakini ikikuja jambo lina mu... Saidia mkenya. Hapo ndiyo mambo ya pati ya naingia. Hapo ndiyo mambo ya ukabila uyo ni mjaluo. Uyo ni mkikuyu. I don't know what. And other types of nonsense. That these politicians spew. Ladies and gentlemen. My work is to synthesize you. Is to open your eyes so that you are able to understand. That as a voter. You will always be on your own. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asanteni sana. Mungu awabariki.